So now I'm nervousing Kalsa here. And um, we've got two incredible practices that I'm going to share with you today. The first one, we'll call this particular Kriya a jewel that's not to be forgotten. And the second one, a classic in Kundalini Yoga as taught by Yogi Bhajan, Seven Wave Satnam Meditation. If you've got 15 minutes, you can do this particular practice because this first Kriya we'll do for um, nine minutes and then we'll chant this Seven Wave Satnam Meditation using a beautiful piece of music uh, from a friend of mine, uh, Jap Dutum Rose. And um, you'll be transformed. This is a very, the, the whole practice is clearing for your aura, for your magnetic field, for clearing the chakras and balancing the chakras and clearing the mind so you have the space actually to um, be who you are, to actually manifest your satnam and uplift not only yourself, but your whole environment. All right, so let's start with the tune in mantra. Inhale deeply. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Inhale deeply. And exhale, relax the breath and relax the hands. All right, this first Kriya uses a 22 count breath. You might be familiar with this if you've done and practiced Shabad Kriya, which is another 70s Kriya that recently more people are practicing because there's been some great research done on it. It's wonderful to do right before you go to sleep. So you, you use those, that uh, sniff type breaths where you're going to inhale in four sniffs, hold your breath for 16, four times four, and then you're going to exhale in two parts. So, you know, four plus 16 plus two is 22, 22 count breath. And you'll use a mantra for this. You'll inhale, sa, ta, na, ma, and then you'll suspend the breath four times mentally chanting sa, ta, na, ma, and then you exhale in two parts, wahe, guru. Right, so, um, it's a 22 count breath, and we'll do it in three positions. Interestingly enough, this is all done on the left side of the body. Two of the exercises will be on the floor, and one exercise standing up. This is a, a Kriya that Yogi Bhajan taught April 7th, 1974, as part of an intensive that he did in Washington, DC. There are actually a few Kriyas I'd like to record that were done in that intensive. So, uh, all right, so let's start, first of all, with the very first exercise. And what you're going to do is stretch your left leg out in front of you. I'm going to tilt the screen down so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. And you're going to keep this, this left foot at a right angle to the ground, right? So that your foot doesn't flop over like this, all right? So you'll have that. And uh, the right foot is uh, against the inner thigh. And you're going to reach down and catch something, the shin, the ankle, or the foot. But if you can, hold on to your big toe. Then you're going to straighten up, and you're going to keep your eyes open, and you're going to gaze at a point in the horizon, and we'll do a 22-count breath. All right? So let's begin.
Inhale. And exhale, rise up. Now, we're going to do the same thing, except you're going to sit on this right heel. Actually, right on the right heel. And instead of holding on to the shin, the ankle, the foot, or the big toe, you're going to have the palms together, and you're going to place the edges of the hands on the ground, like this. All right? So, same kind of thing. You're going to straighten up. The eyes are going to be open and gazing at this point uh, above the horizon, and we'll do the 22 count breath, all right? Let's begin. Inhale, and exhale. Okay, rise up, and then uh, come out of position and come standing up. I'm gonna tilt this up so you can see me back there. All right, we're gonna do archer pose, but with the left foot forward. So left foot forward, right leg back, Left hand holds the bow, right hand draws back the string, and we'll do 22 count breath. So let's begin.
Inhale. And exhale. Relax the arms. Come back to a sitting position. Just have the hands in the lap. And now feel your magnetic field, your aura, the space around you. Feel light, bright, and expanded. Right now, place the palms together at the heart center. We'll chant this seven-wave satnam meditation. You concentrate on the chakras, rectum, sex organs, navel point, heart, throat, brow point, for the sat part, and the nam, you send out the top center of your head. Right, so eyes are closed, focused at the brow point, neck and neck lock. Now inhale deeply, hold the rest, suspend the breath, 
Concentrate at the brow point. And now exhale, relax the breath, relax the hands. Just keep the eyes closed, have the hands in the lap. Feel the sound vibration, sound vibration of the mantra of Satnam within you, surrounding you. And feel yourself in the silent, shunya, infinite part at your very core. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead and bring the arms up. Just shake the hands a bit. And then rub the hands together. Bring the hands down. And let's send some of this energy out. Pick up a, a person you'd like to help or heal. And let's sing them the sunshine song. Let's fill them with light too. Inhale. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. Guide your way on, guide your way on. Sat Nam. Peace to all, life to all, love to all. May we recognize that Sat Nam within us. May we see and feel that vision of that beautiful infinite soul that lives in every person that we meet. Sadhana. Thank you to Dapdaram Rose for that beautiful seven wave Sadhana music on her album. It's called Forces Joined. And um, I hope you enjoyed this practice. Sat now.